What's up guys? Today we're skiing at Marmolada and Araba and it's a beautiful bluebird day. Got some nice fresh snow on the ground after some powder through this week. It's gonna be really fun. Hope you enjoy today's video. In our last video, we were skiing at Marmolada. Today, we are headed to Araba. If you're unfamiliar, a ski pass can be purchased that includes both resorts. We stayed overnight near Marmolada's primary lift, so we first headed to the top of Marmolada, and then we made our way over to Araba. Araba is a superb resort for skiing with the most varied terrain that we have seen while we've been here in Italy. There's everything from easy beginner slopes to very difficult expert level terrain, as well as a great mixture of on pisty and off pisty skiing. As mentioned in the last video, Araba received 30 inches of snow in the week prior to our arrival, so we were sure to spend most of our time skiing off pisty. Throughout much of the day, we kept looking around and thinking to ourselves, Wow, this looks and feels so much like Colorado. That is certainly a compliment to the terrain that Araba has to offer. In addition to this, Araba still offers that Italian Dolomite feel that we love while you're skiing in the higher alpine environments dwarfed by the towering cliffs. One thing about skiing in Italy that we quickly came to realize is that the design and control of ski traffic is completely different than in the United States. In the US, they use ample signage that warns of upcoming steep terrain and they utilize ropes to redirect and shield skiers from stumbling upon cliffs. That is not the case here in Italy. There is a much greater need for self-education, awareness, and discipline. Even more so than in the US, off pisty skiing must be assumed at your own risk. Today, we had an example of this when a relatively easy powder run approaching some trees suddenly turned into what appeared to be a steep cliff. I turned around and hiked back up. Eli on his snowboard opted to try and avert course a bit to the right. Unfortunately for him, this resulted in him nearing the steeps leading up to the cliffs. From here, he was stuck between a rock and a hard place, literally. He couldn't climb himself out of it. He was sitting on exposed rocks with minimal snow and I was already down below. What you see here is a 25 to 30 foot cliff drop directly below Eli in a small section to his left that he needed to aim for to successfully get down. First, he sent his board. This partially indicated how steep it is, as well as the natural path of the fall line, aka not ideal for a human. You want to get over that hump right there. You don't want to take the same path your board did because yeah. the rocks are sticking out. Yeah, like I'd say if you think you can take a couple steps, jump and try to land on your feet because you're gonna dig into the snow. Moral of the story, don't get yourself into a situation like this. If it is so steep that you can't see the terrain in front of you and you aren't certain of what it looks like below, bite the bullet, turn around, start hiking back out before it's too late. That said, this situation did allow us to find this sweet drop though, so let's send it. Send it!
Another awesome feature at Araba was their lifts. We saw three primary lifts to the top, a large cable car, and two gondolas. We ate lunch at the top of the cable car in a very nice and modern self-serve dining area with a bar above the dining area. Lunch at 8,000 feet of elevation also offered spectacular views of the Italian Alps overlooking the mountain centerpiece of Celeronda. Celeronda is a ski circuit that can be completed in a single day by navigating around the base of this mountain in its entirety. It's a very popular skiing attraction in Italy and can be completed clockwise or counterclockwise, estimated to take about six hours in total. We plan to complete the circuit at some point during our time here in Italy. Araba is one of the many points that you can start from. Just be sure to make it back to your starting point before the lifts close. If you don't make it back in time, you could have a very long walk or a very expensive taxi ride back to your origin. All right, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. And this was also our last day that we got to ski for the 2020 spring season. So be sure to leave a comment down below and let us know where we can start planning trips for in the winter. We're looking forward to it already. Thanks so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and tell us where to ski next.